thermbension and contraction of liquids and gases. Now we see thermal expansion and contraction of liquid. Like when you heat solid, it expands. So when we heat liquid it also expands. It is our everyday life's observation. You have seen thermometer, when we put it in our mouth or any warm thing you see that there is mercury inside it, it starts moving upwards and it fill the cube. So what is the mechanism in that it was filling, actually it is expanding. Let's come. We'll observe activity 9.3. For measuring volumes different types of flasks are used, and they are also graduated or measured that we know exact volume. As you are seeing in this picture, that there are different types of flasks. For example see this one, this is flat bottom flask, and here its volume is also written. You can see here that it is 250 ml or 250 cm3. Why we say it flat bottom, because it is flat from bottom and we can put it anywhere easily. You can see besides it that we volume metric flask of 500 ml we say it volume metric flask. See this, it is conical in shape. And we say it conical flask, its volume is 250 centimeters cube. If we fill it, it has 250 centimeters solution in it. This is round bottom flask. We have clipped it with a stand because it is totally round from bottom. So that's why we can't put it on table otherwise it will fell down or skid from table. We have griped it from neck. It volume is also 250 centimeters cube. So what is difference between round bottom flask and flat bottom flask? One is flat from bottom and other one is round from bottom that's why we say it round bottom flask. Every flask over here is used to measure the volume. There is one more apparatus which is used to measure volume is known as pipette. It is also graduated, it is also in different sizes like 10 cm cube, 5 cm cube and 2 cm cube even there is 1 cm cube available in markets. Right now we have pipette of 10 cm cube. It was written on it 10 ml slash 10 cm cube. It is showing 0 to 9 from here and 1 1 ml is down here. In this we can take volume 10 cm cube or less than it. The next pipette is 25 cm cube slash 25 ml in this you can also 25 ml or less than it. To fill this there is very special kind of apparatus which is known as pipette pump. It is not in your book but we fill it with this. And you see when I did it in color solution. You can that there is a volume in it now and you can measure it that much it is. Now I will fit pump in it and then measure it.
see it carefully its level from bottom, that how much volume of liquid it has in it now. We should not take color in it because there is another way to measure the color. But we take color solution to that you can see easily in picture. I hope you all have seen it and measured it that how much exactly volume it has. It is not even 10 ml, it is less than 10 milliliter you have seen that how liquid expands and you see that how it moved to upwards. Our next topic is thermal expansion and contraction of gases. That how solids and liquids expands, gas has also expansion, and there is large amount of expansion you can find in gas. Let's come, we'll go in lab, and I'll show you that how gases are coming out by expanding. You studied the effect of heat on liquid and solid, that what happens when we cool solid and when we heat solid. Now we'll see that what effects of heat on gases. See this apparatus in this apparatus there is round bottom flask. I told you before that for using this flask we have to hang it, you can't make it stand. We have taken Bunsen burner to heat it from bottom and there is water in beaker, we have taken a stand to hold that beaker glass. What is in that round bottom flask? You watching that it is totally empty. Would you think that it is totally empty, nothing is in it? There is air in it, there is gas in it. We will study that. If we heat the gas inside it then what would be the effect? There is a tube connecting flask and beaker glass, there is also gas in tube. What happens when we heat the gas? See this, you are seeing that there are bubbles of air coming, from where did this bubbles are coming? What is the process? There is gas inside it, when we heat that gas it expands. After expanding there is only one way to get out and it is coming in beaker in the shape of bubbles. Okay, we'll do this practical like this that we will turn off the heating burner. When we stop heating it will become cool. When it will be cooled then there is gas, there is less gas inside the flask and more gas outside it. You'll see that the bubbles will stop coming from it. And then the water starts flowing back in it. You are seeing that water is start moving upwards, now when the gas is less inside it and pressure is also less in it. Then now it starts taking water backwards in it. It means that the gas in it is now contracting. The water is inside it now, the pressure has developed again which was decreased. Now it is equal. When we push it little upward. What proves from it is that when you heat gas it expands and when you cool gas it contracts.